episode of What Are People Mad At Me For Now? Not checking my emails in a timely manner. They made seven videos about it. Can you please leave me the f alone? Hey, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thank you for clicking. And if you're a returning subscriber, you get an extra special hello. That's just the level of service I show my subscribers. So I know a lot of you probably read the title and no, you did not get sucked into a black hole and sent back to the year 2020. We are talking about only JS drama today in 2024 or whatever year you're watching this in the future. Time is a flat circle. For those of you that don't know, Only Jace was a huge creator in 2019 through 2021 when she had a meteoric rise on both YouTube and TikTok. She is mostly known for her comedy sketches, life hack videos, and for being a big stinking content thief. Let me try to put this in words YouTube viewers will understand. Only Jace steals content so blatantly and so frequently, she makes Brent Rivera look like an honest and hardworking YouTuber. She's been canceled more times than I've canceled gym memberships. I sort of thought she got kicked off the internet by other commentary channels years ago when they exposed her for all the things she's done, but apparently she's still out there in 2024 thriving off other people's content. So we're gonna be looking at her past and current controversies today. Only Jay's first controversy came back in 2020 when she called out another TikTok creator, the Jonathan Moss, for stealing one of her video ideas. Did you know that your birth month actually has a huge effect on who you are as a person and the things that could possibly happen to you? Yo, did you know that your birth month actually has a huge effect on you and the things that can happen to you in your life? People born in March are way more likely to have asthma. And I can actually speak to this one because my little sister, the only one born in March, has asthma. People born in March are actually more likely to have asthma. And I can speak to that because my cousin, the only person born in March, has asthma. Only Jace was furious another content creator was stealing her video ideas, which, based on the context of this video, is, um, ironic. She made multiple videos calling Jonathan out for his theft, made videos talking about how much work she puts into her videos, and in the most ironic twist of all, she tweeted out, that content creators should be called out when they steal from other content creators. Congratulations, you played yourself. Now, it is clear that Jonathan did copy her video word for word, bar for bar, line for a line. So she's the victim, right? Wrong. It later came out both Only Jace and Jonathan stole their video ideas from a Business Insider article from 2012. Eight full years before either one of them made their video. They were stealing video ideas from a time Gugnam style and Fifty Shades of Grey were becoming pop culture icons. How the drama started was Only Jace made a video going over the first few months in the article that went on to get millions of views. Jonathan either saw her video and copied it, or he saw the same article that she stole her information from and he copied that. Either way, his video went on to get millions of views also, and she was pissed. Only Jay saw his video and she threw her arms up in the air in anger. That, that was her content that she stole first. She had dibs to it. He had no right to steal from the same article that she stole from. Only Jay was angrier than my dog when I open the refrigerator and don't give him a slice of cheese. Jonathan then went on to make more videos going over the other months in the article before Only Jace had a chance to steal, I mean, cover them herself. People born in March are way more likely to have asthma. And I can actually speak to this one because my little sister, the only one born in March, has asthma. People born in March are actually more likely to have asthma. And I can speak to that because my cousin, the only person born in March, has asthma. I do not own information. I think it's okay for other creators to do fact videos. I, it literally does not bother me. I just think it's really weird when other big creators think it's okay to copy my video word for word and act like you didn't. He tried to copy this video when I first posted it and now he's trying again months later. And I think as bigger creators, we should be better than that. And I think he should just own up to it. Only Jace had caused this big stink, this big online beef with another content creator for stealing her video when in reality, it was never her content to begin with. The whole controversy just made Only Jace look really petty to her fans. Thankfully, that's the worst controversy Only Jace would see herself in. 
as I mentioned earlier, only Jace was having a meteoric rise at the time, and she was averaging two to three and sometimes five million views per video. She was collaborating with brands, working with other content creators, and even had a podcast deal with Netflix. The damage from her beef with Jonathan was all in the past, and her career was sailing along smoothly. That is, until it all came crashing down when another content creator exposed her for being a racist and a bully. Screenshots were released by another content creator, showing Only Jays say some pretty horrible things. I'm not going to show them here or YouTube will censor the video, but if you're really curious, they're not that hard to find online. Obviously, Only Jays responded with a video apologizing for what she said in the screenshots, and I'll leave it up to you, the audience, to decide if she's being truthful or not. In my past, I said disgusting things to people, and I am so ashamed of myself for using racist rhetoric and derogatory language to hurt others, because I knew what that word meant, and I understood the power behind it, but I said it anyway because it was the meanest thing that I could think of, and I am so sorry to everyone, but especially to those in the black community, because only you guys can forgive me for this, and there is no excuse, and there are no justifications for what I said, and you guys deserve better. And when I first saw the screenshots, I didn't even think that they were real because I forgot how hateful and how angry of a person I used to be. And it hurts my soul knowing that I said those things. Her apology was met with mixed reactions. So to further apologize, she agreed to collaborate with black creators. Only Jace's idea was to work with a few small black creators so that way they could be seen by her much larger audience. Honestly, this was a really good idea and I don't see how it could blow up in her face. Today's episode of what are people mad at me for now? Not checking my emails in a timely manner. I was joking. I forgot to respond to an email from this creator that wanted to collab with me. And, you know, instead of just, like, hitting me up again, they made seven f***ing videos about it. Can you please leave me the f*** alone? I have a diagnosed neurological disorder that makes me forget things and procrastinate due to time blindness. I forget to eat for days. I procrastinate sleep for more days. I barely text my family back and I just had to move apartments because my address got leaked and you're gonna throw a fit because I didn't make you my priority? <laughs> a little context for that freakout is that only Jace agreed to work with the TikToker Aunt Karen as part of her promise to work with small black creators. But instead of following through with her promise, only Jace ghosted her, so Aunt Karen made videos on TikTok calling her out. So this message is for you only, Jace, and honestly, hopefully they don't take this down for harassment or bullying because Auntie always has receipts. Now, you become a mutual of mine after your whole N-word debacle. Said you want to collaborate with me. We email, and suddenly you've dropped off the face of the earth. So are black people just tokens for you to use when you're ready to play? Because I can tell you one thing. If you were really truly sorry about what you said, you would not have lied and said you were going to do something you clearly aren't trying to do. I really thought that was the end of Only Jayus. She lost all her sponsors, including her podcast deal with Netflix. At the same time, other content creators started coming forward with their receipts that proved that Only Jayus had been stealing their videos for years. At the time, I thought we had witnessed the end of Only Jace and that her days of content theft were over. Except, she was just getting started. Let's fast forward all the way to August of 2024, when the TikTok creator Everyday Alex made a video calling out Only Jace for stealing one of his videos. Remember when Only Jace got canceled for saying the N-word? Apparently that didn't teach them to be a better person, because look what they just did. When you get a new job, do just enough to not get fired. Put in the bare minimum, just enough not to get fired. And then after about six months or when a new position opens up, make a sudden drastic change. In like six months or whenever a new position opens up, you're gonna kick it into high gear. Start coming in early, grind really hard, offer to take work home. You're coming to work early, you're gonna ask to bring like work home. And inevitably your boss will ask, why the big change? Just whatever it takes for your boss to come up and be like, what's up with this like sudden change? I got the girl I'm seeing pregnant and you know, this has really been a wake up call for me 
about how I need to be more responsible and make more money. If you're a man, you're gonna be like, oh, I just got my girlfriend pregnant and it made me realize that I need to be like more responsible and definitely need to make more money. And you'll tell him that you've discovered you can't have kids. If you're a woman, you're gonna be like, oh, I just realized that I can't ever have children. And you've realized you're gonna have to get more life satisfaction out of your career. This is where I'm gonna get my life satisfaction from. And they will give you the promotion without you even asking. You guys are gonna get the job without even asking for it. If you ever decide to have children, it'll look like a medical miracle. You wanna start a family? People are just gonna see it as a medical miracle. Hey, what happened with the kid? Uh, I haven't heard about him. I haven't seen any pictures. And you'll say, oh, uh, there was a miscarriage. If you're a guy and people are like, where's the baby? You can just be like, oh yeah, there was a miscarriage. And that's how you make content. The extreme unethical way. The video by OnlyJS was posted August 3rd, 2024, while the video by Alex was posted April 21st, 2022. What made this worse was, unlike her beef with Jonathan, this time only Jace had no leg to stand on because Alex is a comedian that writes his own scripts. So, how did only Jace respond to the controversy? Maybe she ignored it completely like Cody Ko, or maybe she wrote a ukulele song about it like Colleen Ballinger. Worse. What she did was worse. She lied about getting her information from a Reddit post that never existed. Only JS stole one of my TikTok videos. I have the proof on my page. I called her out, she denied it, and said this, that we both got the idea from the same Reddit post. I am offering $10,000 to charity right now if she can send me the Reddit post. And if any of you on the internet can find the Reddit post, I'll give you $1,000 and we'll donate the other 9,000 to a charity of your choice. Alex offers Only JS $10,000 to provide a screenshot of the Reddit post where she allegedly got this information from. According to OnlyJS, she only makes $10,000 a month, so she could get a whole month's salary in two minutes just by providing a screenshot if she's telling the truth. I would go through the seven mile SpongeBob spanking machine for $10,000, let alone just to provide a screenshot of a Reddit post. That is an absurd amount of money. So, how does OnlyJS respond? Does she find the proof and make Alex look like an idiot the way I do every time I wear a turtleneck? Does she admit she lied and apologize like a normal adult? Neither. What if I told you she fakes a Reddit post to make it look like that's where the information in her video came from? Today was one of the craziest nights of my life. I have never been gaslit so hard. I have been beefing with this person named Only Jayus for a few days because she stole one of my videos tonight when she went on Twitch and showed these screenshots of this Reddit. She doctored a screenshot on her Twitch stream. She first showed the screenshot of the script that we both used in our videos. And she said, this is what I screenshotted. This is what I used for my video. This is where it gets crazy. We found how she got the rest of the screenshot. It turns out you can search Reddit for recent deleted posts. We used the script in the screenshot and saw that she commented it. She commented on a different subreddit where she thought nobody would see and then deleted it so that she had the convincing looking thing for her screenshot. She actually posted it twice because there's some typos in the first one. And then she changed the date on the screenshot, which you can do easily. I'll lay out all the proof better soon, but I just wanted to hop on and say this. Ridiculous. I, I have no words. Actually, I have one. Harpy. Only Jace, you are a harpy. That was on my word of the day calendar and I just wanted to work it into the video so you guys would think I'm smart. Instead of just apologizing or even just staying quiet on the matter, she fakes evidence to make Alex look like he's the liar. You know what only Jace? I take back the word harpy. That word is not strong enough. You are psychotic. You have to be a genuinely crazy person to think of something like that, let alone to go through with it. And if that wasn't bad enough, only Jace kept digging her hole deeper. She went live on TikTok to address the allegations because she was being bombarded with hate comments on all of her videos. But when she went on Alex's channel, she accidentally clicks on the wrong video, leading to one of the funniest live stream feels I've seen so far in 2024. I have never seen this page before. I've never seen this man. Like maybe I've scrolling on him, but like, I, I don't follow him. I don't know him. I got this video from Reddit. Let's let's actually watch the comparison because he, I think he put them side by side. Remember when only JS got canceled for saying the N-word? Yeah. <laughs> Get fired. And then There's not much left to say about only JS. She's a blatant content thief and that's not going to change anytime soon. 
She's already been filtering out the comments on her videos and acting like this never happened. I personally have a small but infuriating history with content thieves. Last year, when I only had around 100 subscribers, my video on Natalie Reynolds went semi-viral with around 500,000 views, and another TikTok creator with nearly a quarter million subscribers also made a video on her, which is fine. I don't own the rights to Natalie Reynolds. As many people can make videos about her as they want. The problem is this YouTuber stole entire lines of dialogue from my video, including jokes I wrote myself. The infuriating part about it too is they credited other larger YouTube creators that they took information from to make their video, but conveniently my name wasn't on there. I, I wasn't good enough to make that list, but I'm fine. I'm not bitter about it at all. There's nothing wrong with taking information from the internet and using it to make your own content. Just cite your sources and for the love of God, try to add your own creative aspect to it. Sunny V2 recently made a video on OnlyJS, but instead of copying down his script and acting like I wrote it, I wrote my own script with my own personal feelings towards OnlyJS and my own creative aspects. Not only is that the honest way to do it, it's more fun for me that way to put my own personal feelings into the videos I'm making versus just reading off a script someone else wrote. I know it can be hard to write your own material, but in the end, it's worth it because you're left with a feeling of accomplishment, and that's a feeling that only Jace is never going to understand. I'll end the video here with a message from Alex, and if you're on TikTok, make sure to go check out his page and to give him a follow. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, this is gonna be my last video about Only JS. As you know, she stole from me, it bothered me. I looked into it and found out she was stealing and lying for years. I commented this on her Instagram. I'm going to make sure you see consequences for this on behalf of all the small creators you steal from. And her response to that was to tell me that I wouldn't get that many views on it anyway and nobody would care. Her attempt to get out of trouble by faking a screenshot didn't work and I ended up getting over 6 million views on my videos exposing her. And now some of the biggest YouTube channels like Sunny V2 are picking up the story, getting 480,000 views in the first four hours. If you go to the video only JS just posted on TikTok, it's clear she's scrambling to censor words and delete every comment, but it's not going to work. Everyone's picking it up now. I think the reason she underestimated me was because she doesn't come up with her own ideas, so she doesn't understand how much it hurts to work as a comedian for 15 years coming up with your own material and then to have somebody steal it. Enjoy getting cancelled again, and I'm sure you're going to lose a lot of money from whatever crappy brands we're going to work with you.